Hi, it's Marcus Giuliano from Aroma Time Bistro. I'm here today with Kevin Burns from the Foaming Head. Making my grand entrance. Excellent. And Kevin and I are redoing a beer video from our amateur okay. days. Is that our very first one? I think one of our first videos was Mother's Milk from Keegan Ales. And those are, like I said, those were our amateur days. That was when I went out and bought like an expensive camera and it just like didn't work. The lighting was off. I would play with all the buttons and nothing would ever work. And you know, it just I think I even uploaded on on a PC at the time. That was before my Mac days. That is a long time ago. That's a long time ago, over three years ago. So it's time to revisit Mother's Milk. So that's the first reason, because our old other videos old. And because now because Keegan is bottling in Saratoga, right? Yeah, they've they've grown so much that they've kind of grown out of their brew house, and it's now being bottled up at the uh, old Saratoga. Old Saratoga, Company. yeah. Um, Labels a little different. One of the very cool things. It's about a lot going different, back, just same colors. One of the very cool things about going back and rating stuff is we're on such a quest to taste everything that you kind of forget your old standbys. And I have a feeling we're gonna love this. Right, I have a feeling we're gonna love this too. I mean, it's just. The nose is like really caramelly. The um, nose is, I mean, it's a milk stout, so what you're gonna have, you're not gonna have that dry roasted character, at least not as much of it. You're gonna have more of a creamy mouthfeel in those milk stouts, those sweet stouts, a little bit more candied sugar, and that's what I get in there a little like resiny sugar, like some malty, some sugar from, from the yeah, left of yeah. fermentation. So this is made it, this, well, the brewery's Kingston, New York, Keegan. Like we said, this is brewed in Saratoga now. This just happened like within the last month or so, two months. Now, Tommy has a keg of Super Kitty that's been holding on for me up there. The Super Kitty is eight months old right now. Something Tommy, does, something, something Tommy doesn't know is I have another keg here. <laughs> so, when I go to Tim, when he gives me that one, which I'm going, I'm going to get it, when, I'm, when, we, when, we, when we get this, I'm going to tap the one I have and save the one he gave me. That's already eight months aging. For the next release of Super Kitty. So everybody's drinking 2010 Super Kitty. We'll be serving 2009 Super, Super Kitty. Super Kitty is their big barley wine that could age for a lot longer than that. You're talking about could age five, six, seven, eight years. We've had some 07s, 06, 07s probably. That are still, that are still drinking phenomenal. It's still three years old. So a little sweet nose, some malt, but once you taste this, this is one of the more... I love this stout because it's so restrained. I mean, I get that malt, that sugar, that sweetness up front. It's silky, silky smooth into a nice dry finish. I love this stout. The finish, this beer is just well, it's well rounded. It's not, doesn't have huge muscles. It's got good body and the finish is lingering. And then in my, my finish, the finish is lingers. And then all of a sudden the dryness kicks in where it waters your mouth out. You're like, okay, time for another sip. This is, you're right, when you said well-rounded, it goes with that silky, silky um, mouthfeel. This is wonderful. I'm kind of a seasonal drinker as the season chains, my taste chains, and uh, you know, I haven't gotten near a stout in months. I, I've tasted one stout in the last two or three months. 1050. No, the Dundee stout. The Dundee new stout, stout from up in Rochester, New York, a local beer. But this is a summer stout, if I've ever tasted one. This is a breakfast stout. This can be paired with food. It's just that Dessert, good. Dessert, chocolate. Dessert. It can be paired with all five courses. It can be had any time of day, and it can have any it be had any time, any season of the year. I love this beer. Now, when I was up up visiting Keegan Ales a couple months ago, Tommy, I believe, had some of this in oak barrels from Tuttletown. Ooh. Do you know about this? I don't. He had some oak barrels lined up, tagged, and I'm assuming he had, or maybe he had some Joe Mama's milk stout in there. I don't know. Maybe some Joe Mama's. Now, Joe Mama's is their imperial version of the mother's milk. Yes. With coffee. So, you know, this is an all really awesome caramel rounded beer. Um, this is a solid, you know, I don't know what we rated it before. Um, and I don't think anybody else knows because if you watch that first video, I don't know how you slip through all six minutes and 46 anything. seconds. The lighting's off, everything's really off. Not granted that this video is perfect. Because but you can see us. But you can see us and you can hear us. And you can Even hear you us. can probably hear us over the air conditioner. <laughs> uh, the other, there was no air conditioner running the other time, last time we did it three years ago, and I, you just couldn't hear us. See, I think you heard a pin drop in the, in the basement. This is, this is an A minus to A beer. This is, oh, absolutely. This is lovely, 
This is, like I said, it's diver It's so good. It has everything you look for in a beer. I have no problem giving this 91, 92 points. I'm right there with you. Maybe, you know, even, maybe even a point or two more. This and you is, know, the reason why it scores so high is because... It's, like you said, it's a lighter, it's a lighter stout, but there's body to it. It's not like some of those stouts that are lighter that there's not that you taste water. There's some good body for not being a massive, a big muscle imperial stout. This might be the best stout I've had in New York out of the 205 reviews I've ever done. There's a lot of finesse in this beer. There's an, I mean, the, really a lot of finesse. I mean, this, I mean, look, look. I, 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 we might need to order another one of these, Kevin. <laughs> Who can we call to bring up and bring us up another one? This might be. Kevin's right now on the computer looking up, I guess, his other ratings. But your stout, foaminghead.com. www.thefoaminghead.com are all of Kevin's beer reviews. My stuff is on. Where is my stuff? It's all over. It's all over. If you're watching this video, you're on my stuff. You know, my YouTube channel or my Vidler channel, plus follow the um, Beer of the Month Club .blogspot .com. You can find, find, find myself. Yeah, Beer of the Month Club .blogspot .com. Um, What do you, what do you, you pull anything up, Kevin? I think we're having technical difficulties over at the foaminghead.com. Once we done shooting, I'm going to hop right on that. Well, it's, it's up there. It's just, it's a great beer. There's nothing else yep. to say. This is one of those beers we talk about. I want, you want to order another. It's time to go buy more. If you weren't here, I was tasting this, and this was my only bottle, where can I go buy more? That's it's that, that good. And we can talk about points, ratings, letters. That's the mark of a great beer. Yeah. I want more of it after this bottle. And if you haven't been to Keegan Ales, you got to get there. They have live music. Um, they got all their beers and on tap. Old rustic buildings. Old rustic, great yeah, setting. It's a warehouse building. Great setting. Um, they serve some food, but Tommy Keegan's a fun guy. He's always there. He's, to welcome he's in. always there. He's a fun guy, you know. And this, you know, and he's loud too. He's you know, you know when he's in the room. You know, it's like, oh, that's Tommy. You know when he's in the room. Fun guy, great place, good beer. You know, Marcus Giuliano, Aroma Time Beast Show. Kevin Burns, Foamhead.com. Cheers. You are what you drink. Drink good local beer.